It is my great honor to be here today. I was at the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia, and it is a great and I did not get to speak. So I'm pleased to have the opportunity to speak right now. You are in one of two of the American states, Pennsylvania and Rhode Island, that was founded on the basis of religious freedom. William Penn, a Quaker, was the founder of Pennsylvania. And one of his friends asked him, why are you for religious freedom for everybody? Why not just be for religious freedom for Quakers? And William Penn said that most of the people in Pennsylvania are not Quakers. And to support just religious freedom for Quakers would guarantee that eventually the day would come in which religious freedom for Quakers would be repealed by the vast non-Quaker majority of Pennsylvania. But by supporting religious freedom for everybody, he guarantees that religious freedom will last for hundreds or thousands of years. And, Pen and Pennsylvania has led the nation in advocating religious freedom. And your presence here today, and I understand this is not your first time here in Harrisburg, your presence here today continues Pennsylvania's tradition of welcoming diverse religions and standing firmly for religious freedom for all. Your, your motto on the wall, love for all, hatred for none, expresses very profound truth that by reaching out to people and showing them love, you generate love in return, and you increase the amount of love in the world and reduce the amount of hatred in the world. The attitude of many in America towards Muslims is one of ignorance and fear. Your presence here today and your advocacy of rational, common sense means of settling disputes, your enunciation of violence, your obvious love for all Americans and all people, your willingness to publicly explain your beliefs and to invite others who are not familiar with your beliefs to understand what they are, does great things for expanding honest dialogue and mutual understanding. I really wish that one of your spokesmen was at the conventions in Cleveland or Philadelphia. People ought not to be afraid of those whose religious beliefs differ from theirs. People ought to be welcoming. In my le legislative district, we have had mosques open in recent years as the Muslim percentage of the population has grown. I am proud to say that none of the mosques that have been open have been treated disrespectfully or treated with hate, and there has been very little fear. But we have to expand on that. We have to replace the absence of fear with love and understanding. It is a truism of American society that the major religions, the religions that are most frequently recognized, are Protestants, Catholics, and Jews. We need 
and understanding of that, that the religions are not only Protestants, Catholics, and Jews, but also Muslims, also Buddhists, also Sikhs, also atheists, also agnostics. Religion is a strong category. Religious freedom means the ability to pick any religion, any religion or no religion. There should be no special favors or no historical bounds as to what constitutes a religion that is recognized in America and what does not. It is a great honor for me to be here today. My, it is my hope to con that I will be able to continue to work with your community. It is my hope that you will continue to work with members of the legislature in Pennsylvania and other states to build a society that is more just, more inclusive, more welcoming, than the society that exists right now. America is a great country right now. We, working together, can all, in our own way, make it an even better country than it is today. Thank you very much.